Why is there a theremin going off? I don't see no aliens. Because there's skeleton <laughs> hands. Okay, that makes sense. It's spooky. By the way, this is the worst mission. Why? Because I have to t turn off 60 okay. candles. I gotta today, Junior! It really is crazy how less fun this seems to previous Sonic games. This uh, level. Chaotix was never really that fun. In fact, when I first played this game, I loved playing these assholes. They really? were really boring. Yeah, I didn't like doing it. And I definitely didn't like the extra mission, which was just everything but harder, which we're not doing. We are going to do last mission, and that's going to be really fun doing <laughs> The I, I do. I, do I, really, I really do remember playing this as a child and going, "This is not as fun as the other Sonic games." Um, that was my little two cents. False statement. That was, hey, that's my just that's my opinion, man. Is this the exact same uh, engine that Sonic Adventure Two Battle used? Uh, good question. I mean, we were saying, wasn't this game made pretty quickly? I, I mean, it is a little like they definitely use this engine for Shadow the Hedgehog because it looks oh. the exact same, same color wise and everything. All right, fine, bitch. <laughs> I don't have to say that. Dude, I wasn't gonna do that, but I needed to do that. Why do they always leave Mighty out? Uh, because Mighty? he wouldn't fit. He wouldn't fit He's in. He's the black armadillo fella. I do think he should have replaced Espio, but I like Espio, so it's a small price to pay. Hit the fucking thing. Well, the bee's your favorite, right? No, I despise the bee. How do I hit that? I need to be able to hit that. Corey, I don't fucking know! Hold on. I don't play this, dude. How am I supposed to hit that? I need to hit that. Oh wait, no, do I actually hit the purple? Let me check something. I don't play games like this, dude. All I play is Journey on PS3 over and over. Dude, I play Journey every day of the last 10 years. I know, it's like a new Journey every time. I love Charmy just because he's kind of charming. You know, Charmy is a prince in the Arch Archie comics. Really? Actually, Chris, you have you ever read the Archie comics? No. You never read it? No. That's unfortunate. Chris does use Reddit though. He does go to the Sonic subreddit all, all the time. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that crap. I actually, if we're talking about books, I don't remember the Archie comics I had exactly. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I believe... I, act I did have a few as a kid, but I always bought them like way... Like none of them Here? were anywhere near each other in the story. I was like, I would buy one and then a few months nope. later I'd you buy, buy like, another. like 30 issues later? Yeah. I don't really remember them. I just remember the art being I don't horrible. remember either, but it was always like some like fucking like s dumbass Sonic recolor with a cloak on who's like throwing darts or some <laughs> shit because like, Ken Penders a fucking moron, doesn't know how to write. All of his fucking characters are like ripoffs of Star Wars and Dune and fucking Star Trek. It is weird. Shit. Like how come in like, it's only like in the first three games that that's what I consider the world of Sonic to be or like Sonic CD, but then Go in. no TV show or movie has ever looked or felt like any of those old games. No, but it's like why? I don't know. I don't because know. Not Even care. Sonic Spinball feels more like the world of Sonic. Oh, actually, I have to say something. Uh. There is a really funny Sonic comic. What Sonic comic? It's Sonic Fleetway. It's it was like it was a I don't know if it's a brand, but if you look up Sonic the Hedgehog Fleetway comic, mm. it was a British comic, and they they were making Sonic. They made him ruthless and extremely mean. <laughs> like when Tails was like. Sonic, I almost died back there. He's like, good. And he'll, he'll like say stuff like, he's like, Sonic, we need to help our friends. He's like, he would just be like, they're not my friends. Jeez. Like, he was mean, but it was really funny. He was a bastard, huh? I don't know. Look up. You, you could you could probably discern more stuff. But when he's when he's actually supersonic, he's deranged. Like he's like, he's kind of like the Joker. Yeah, he becomes crazy. Like he actually comes like wacky, and he's like, I'm gonna kill everyone who I see. And it's just like it's, it was really dark. And Sega was like, uh, we. We want a squ squeaky clean, like, family-friendly fan base. I need to get this door. Thing I would here. Sonic to use a big knife and, like, carve into people. You can look- you can, there's Coffee. tons of Newgrounds cartoons of him carving tails. If you really wanted to look at that. Stop it! Get off the fucking wall, you dope! <laughs> Don't need to get so angry about it. It's just annoying. I'm trying to get in here. I hate He's trying to make you happy, Corey. He's trying to level this. In there. There you go. Why aren't you having fun? 30 more, because it's annoying. Okay. This game has bad a... game feel. <laughs> yeah. Zach, break down to me. What would make this feel better? Sega. Sega. Uh, I think if he had a backpack, if he had no arms, if he had little dot <laughs> eyes, if he had... That'd uh, be cool. If he had, like, yeah. he looked like a cabbage patch with yeah. extendo arms. Yeah, well, so, well, Mario games are still being played, but Sonic games are, so Sega needs to listen up. A more painted feel with water brush. You know, the reality of it is, the reason why Sonic isn't being played is because they've experimented too much and they don't know what the fuck to do at this point. Hopefully the open world Sonic game isn't a failure. Yeah, I hope that's actually quite good. I'll you play know? it. I mean, 
personally, like, all I ever have said is, like, just make an open-world Sonic game with characters That's all that anybody's wanted. I'm going to say is make a giant open-world game where you can go a zillion miles an hour and you're not running into stuff. They should yeah. absolutely make movie... And you can build momentum up and... Dude, that stupid fucking game, uh, uh, Flash game, Dolphin Olympics, I used to play in, like, middle school. <laughs> that game is fun because you can actually build speed up and get quicker and quicker and build momentum. That's really fun. Like Echo? Yeah. In a I'm video game. Echo? That's, like, side-scroller, but... It's just I don't a know. clever mechanic. Yeah, the, make it the longer you go, the faster you go. And you can go up ramps and stuff. Would you please, for the love of fucking God, grab this? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know, that just, just feels fun to me. Yeah, I'm struggling to grab buttons is really fun, <laughs> dude. Good job, Sega. I, I will say... Sega. Sega. I will say that they should make a Sonic Movie 2 video game, and Rachel's Wedding is definitely... <laughs> I would love that's, to play that's, as that's a woman. That's where the game takes place, that's like the overworld. You play as like that's PlayStation like 2, like she runs like a... The, the fucking king and sneak king while she's trying you know, to like, shoot her fucking like the game too. They should be the wedding and you play all the humans but you can't play Sonic or Tails uh, yeah, or Knuckles. You have to switch to Tom and, and like, he has this like, realistic face. Yeah, you can't run fast either. You're just walking normal <laughs> human speed and you can talk to people uh, at the wedding. Fucking rock, dude. But you can't talk to Sonic or Knuckles or Tails. You know what I don't understand about that part? It's what? like, uh, if, if, okay, let's say you're, you know, whoever's directing the movie and then the production people are like, you have to include this fucking wedding because the adults are gonna get bored and they just need something and you like you can you know disagree and just be like fine whatever I just have to put in the wedding why don't they at least get the, those actors to be good why don't they get good actors and also have them just because improvise it's too, like, because it's too compartmentalized there's not really I, I don't think there was like oh, a real top off. down like all they had to do for Dude. that was like shoot the same scene what like 20 that? times just be like improvise just improvise and we'll pick the best one just fucking do it I, I guarantee you everybody there wanted to go home as soon as possible. It's fucking sad. And what's fucked up is they wouldn't even view it like they did a bad job, but they did. They, but they don't know that they did... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it, they would know the difference between doing a great job and an average job, but they're like, well, we shot it, right? It's done. I think the biggest problem was just that the writing was fucking awful. It was the writing, and I think you could have edited that down a lot. It yeah. was super hammy, too. I think but it, it also was... stopped the movie. Yeah, it stopped it. You're just I, I actually started to get sleepy. At that. I mean like yeah They yeah, went, that went on for like 10 minutes and then also that sonic dance scene went on for like 10 minutes It's like what the yeah, like, this just stopped the plot entirely for no reason. Sorry to come back to it It's just like we're I'm mad. I'm still mad about it. I just I'm trying to hold back my rage Okay, Corey, okay, we'll get our mind Arthur off of that style. horrible movie and we'll think instead about better times Remember the first time you saw the Chaos Emerald, dude? <laughs> the Chaos Emerald? Yeah, remember how happy you were? How did you, you react, Corey? When, when I saw it? When saw it? Yeah, when you first saw it uh, as who? You, as, as you. little baby Cory. Little baby Cory saw the Chaos Emerald? Yeah, I bet you don't even remember. To be fair, the Chaos Emerald wasn't introduced until, um, like Sonic 2. They had, like, emeralds, but they were all the same color. They were green. Remember in Sonic 1? Really? I think so. Maybe I'm lying. I don't know. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't quiz me. I'm not a true Sonic fan. Maybe I'm lying. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I do, uh, when I thought about the when I saw Super Sonic, I'm like, woo! Woo. I just did that. It's a woo. It's a little kid. <laughs> woo. That's all I remember doing. Woo, look at that. Go up to the big red. Oh, yeah, big go up red there. something or other. I thought that was the sky up there. I didn't realize there was a giant thing that was gonna crush you. Yeah, dude, this level. Oh, it's, just, it's fun, right? It's just dreadfully boring. You think this is boring? Nope. Fucking horrible. There's levels like this in Shadow the Hedgehog, but you don't have to like turn off fire all the time. Sonic games with puzzle solving is just horrible. This stuff, this stuff was like, this stuff sucks because it's like, you can teleport back using the little metal flowers, but it's like, I don't even want to use the metal flowers, just want to run forward, you fucking assholes. Like, why the hell would I want to do this crap? I just want to use, man, I just want to play video games. All the time and every day. I play PlayStation, Xbox, uh, 3, 3, PS4. That wasn't out then. Hey, what game can you put this in three? <laughs> I remember the first time I saw the PlayStation 3's graphics, I was like, this is it. We're done. Really? So I was no like, improving. I was like, yawn, 360, take my hand. Because <laughs> I was a 360 boy through and through. I didn't play a fucking that bullshit. Me and my friend, we were like, well, no, he got the PlayStation 3, and he was like the only person in school who had it at this point. And everyone was jealous of him, and I was like, fuck this, and I, I worked really hard for like, a few weeks, and then I bought it. I was like, fuck you, now I have one too. I didn't even want it that bad. Little did you know that no games would ever work for it ever again, and it was a wasted <laughs> fucking effort, and you would just be playing your 360 in Halo. Oh man, I know, I got the 360 way after the PS3. 
Yeah. But I, it was so worth it. I loved Halo 3. I never had the PS3. I, you know, it was funny. When we talk about, like, consoles, the PS3 was, like, kind of like a failure at the start. And the yeah. 360 carried the mantle. But then by the end of it, the PS3 was kind of able to fight back. And then they released the PS4, and Xbox just shit its pants in front of <laughs> everyone. It's totally embarrassed themselves. And they didn't recover from that until they created the uh, Xbox Game Pass. That shit was, like... Game changing. Even even PlayStation is doing that shit now. All they fucking do is give you like, I don't know, that stupid Borderlands game. Fucking nobody gives a shit about. Cause they're assholes. <laughs> they're assholes. Yeah, they're like, sign up for PlayStation Plus and get the newest games. The only games you get are like trash that nobody wants to fucking play anyways. That's why they're on PlayStation Plus and giving them to you. That's also, PlayStation, any live service that's like a live game where you're playing it via stream is dumb. Stop doing it, PlayStation. I know you fucking watch this shit. You're <laughs> stupid. How does he know we watch this? I need to go up here. Also, I'm missing... All right, uh, Chris. Uh -huh. Oh my god, am I missing two fucking Can we candles? hear your best impression of the Noid? You know, you know the Noid. Yeah. You know I'm the Noid, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll Yo, describe annoying. him. Little red guy. Okay, okay, okay. Little red guy, big floppy ears. Right. Yep, yep, yep. He's got a big N on his chest. And that, what does he love? Is that all he has? Pizza. Okay, well, now we're, now we're cooking with gas. So, so you got that guy in your head, mental image, like, like wearing like a cock stretcher. He's a doing that? A cock stretcher? Yeah, like Okay, he's got a cock a stretcher day. on. And you want me to do impression of him yeah, with the cock like, stretcher? What, what that might sound like as he's putting the device on, like... <laughs> okay. Alright. So, Here's annoyed the, with a cock stretcher. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, that's, I mean, that's, so that's, so that's it. That's all I just wanted, you know, I just wanted to see what you... You wanted an image, you That's all I needed. A split second image. <laughs> that's all I needed, I'm satiated now. I just, you know, it's like I felt like I was in the desert and I had a little scoop of water in my hands and I just drank it up. I mean, let satiated. me just say, I really like that. That's all I needed, I that really drink. like the setup to that what if and the payoff <laughs> was... That's a Marvel what if, yeah, the Noid a, had yeah. a cock stretcher. <laughs> what if it, what if, what if the Noid what ended... If the Noid. I think I know where I need How to go. How the Noid should have ended. <laughs> He stretches his cock out. Uh, yeah. hey, he does have a funny scream he if you ever hear it. His dick pop. It, it's and he goes, ah! Take my scream and like uh, increase the pitch times like 300%. But show the Noid when that happens. <laughs> yeah. So that we really feel like we're seeing the Noid actually. Show him in pain. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your Yo Noid sounds like an old man. <laughs> no. Oh, it sounds like a Noid. normal man oh. in pain. Well, the Noid, Noid. Was, would he age? He's just like, he, he would, pl he, you know. There'd be like an old Noid is what I'm saying, right, eventually? You I want to see the old man Noid with, without his, clo his clothes on. Yeah, take your clothes off and just be an old man Noid. <laughs> Are there actual rabbit ears beneath his thing, or is no, that part of the costume? That's, just like, that's a costume. That's not actually- that's, you're saying it's not actually his... Well, I mean, he has a human face, I don't know. This really sucks that the blue fire doesn't Wait, that's an interesting question. The blue fucking, fire! It's really annoying. Man's red fire! Raspberry fire! Dude, I, I, re I really don't know where the other fire is. Man's red flower! Sucks. Oh, what we do? Flower! You gotta go back through the entire level to find it. Yeah. This rocks. Yeah, it sucks, Dick. It's really awful. You're not having fun, are you? No, this is this is the one thing like Chaotix just like brings you to a fucking crawl. We should talk about that get off song the wall. That, the song that Corey showed us in the car. Okay, what was that? It was like <laughs> the they call me Sonic. Cause I am faster than Sonic. Corey was like, if you guys heard this, he put this thing on. It was like a little mouse picture. Voice. This picture like a bunch of like people. Who are who are like using Windows Movie Maker filters where they're flashing through a bunch of different colors and they're just running like Sonic the Hedgehog? 240p quality released in 2009. That's what it is. But here's that what I don't understand: the the, the, the links are they call me Sonic. Is that Sonic's voice? That's what I'm. Yeah, they call me. They, 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 they say meh. Yeah, they, they, they call me Sonic. Sonic. It's a little pitched up mouse voice. I don't, I don't know, it's like a Swedish Corey, band. you look so it. fucking happy listening but to it. But then he was like, Dude, wait, was there's another song you guys need to hear, and he put song. it on, and it was the same band with it. It was the same song! With an identical backing track with yeah. different lyrics. It was the same fucking so song. Stupid. <laughs> identical song. Identical <laughs> back thing. Yeah. It's like, I'm the king of the ring. <laughs> what, like, what is he talking about? Why won't you play with me? He's like stalking people, and... I don't, oh, there they are! Fuck you! Fuck you. You know what? You need to put a little symbol on this shit. Right. We did it. We beat the what fire. A fun, what a fun objective. <laughs> put out the fire. Put out, put out a zillion fires. Yeah, this guy's like, we need to make rent. And he's like, I go around the castle. They put out Dude, all the we fire. we need to pay the rent. Some of these are dumb. The next one's hard, too, actually. Cage, we need to pay the rent. 
<laughs> but yeah, they, they call me Sonic. I, rem- I remember. I can't get out of bed, it was- I'm too bad. I'm too heavy. I can't move. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tenacious D, fat. season 50. Tenacious. That season only got one show, right? Oh, that show only got one battle. season. Right? I never actually saw it. the show. Really? Tenacious mm. D. There's the Sasquatch. There's the cult episode. I think a lot of the, I think the movie pulled a lot from the show even. Do you see how the like the little glowy thing is coming off of the mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone like fucking drew on that with magic marker. Stupid. Robot Storm. Uh, I'm gonna do bad here. Here's a question. Do you think in the I might have an answer. In the Sonic movie, the, the next one, <laughs> the you think they'll make the next one? You think they'll make Jim Carrey if he comes back, you think they'll make him look more like the cartoon version? I don't like, know. Will, if they, Jim, will they make him fat? I don't think nah. Jim Okay, spoilers. Again, you know, you, this episode is just like spoil heavy. This hell. is that probably two episodes we're talking about this. Uh, honestly, at this point, you should have seen it at this point. Like, we don't know. A, this is one session. Well, well when this comes out, it'll probably have been like two weeks, I think. They right? called him Eggman in the movie, right? Twice! But randomly! Why? Why? When Sonic first saw him, he's like, hey, Eggman. He's like, what? What are you doing, Eggman? And then he just called him Robotic the whole entire <laughs> why time. Why did they call him Eggman? I don't know. I don't know. It never hinted What's at the, that. Well, here's the question What's the reason in the Sonic lore why they call him two names? Uh, they call him Robotnik because that was like kind of like his first name because Robotnik sounds like it was more unique um, And also it helped with like the lore remember I told you the Kentober shit, which is real by the way <laughs> Sonic in the hamster wheel getting and then like Robotnik falling on the rotten egg. That's real <laughs> I'm not joking. That's in the comics. It's fact. Yeah, it's real. But So well, well, why, why did they call both Eggman and Robotnik? Uh, Eggman it? was a Japanese yeah. one In Japan they're like he's a footy Eggman. Yeah, they called him because of Japanese reasons. And then in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, they just, they just started calling him Eggman. Yeah. It's pretty cute. Or maybe was it was the first one, I don't know. No, you're right. He, he literally sings Charmy the Bee. Bee, bee, bee! Yeah, they're like singing it. He, they, they'll never be able to sing a song because Charmy's too fucking arrogant. Always <laughs> singing his fucking name. <laughs> Charmy sucks dick. I hate Charmy. He's fucking worthless. I know he's nine years old, but that doesn't ex- exclude. I fucking doesn't hate kids. Doesn't excuse his bad behavior, his yeah. nasty, his rotten behavior. Oh, Zach, you right. should tell me. You should tell the story about when you were going on a trip. You know, deal with like a fucking kid. Oh yeah, that was great. Do you want to it seem w- like an unlikely? Uh, no, dude, like I have, I have, I, I, I have pretty fucking good tolerance of being annoyed on flights. I don't really have that many bad <laughs> flight ex- flight uh, uh, experiences, but yeah, I took a flight like a few months ago. It was the it was the worst flight I've ever been on in my entire in my entire life. And what it was was there was a couple, like a young couple in their twenties. And even with like kids, people are like, oh, I fucking hate kids. I really don't mind children, but these parents I were fucking so kids. fucking undisciplined. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. I can even tolerate a crying kid for the most part. For the most part. I was just but uh, copying you. These, but but these fucking parents were like the most limperous did nothing. The dad was like like just like a scared young guy, <laughs> clearly <laughs> like just a total coward. And but basically, they had like a toddler who was old enough to talk. So it wasn't wasn't a baby. <laughs> it was not a baby. It was like a four year old. And they kept saying phrases over and over. This was a red eye flight. This was like a 5 a.m. flight. To, sorry, yeah, 5 a.m. And we landed at like 8 or 9 or something. And it was a one way. But this little fucking toddler kept going between peaks and valleys of they would go be they'd be like they have the biggest high ever. <laughs> and they would just start saying, all done, all done, all done, all done, all done. They did that. This was a something hour, fl- you know, three hour flight or something. Kept saying that phrase Wait, over and over and I, over. Can I interrupt you? Yeah, please. When you say it like that, it reminds me of that video we saw where it's like this like guys on a on a bus and he's like, "Oh, you, Captain, we have a problem. Captain, we have a problem. Yes, Captain, we have a yes, problem. it was that. It was the same phrase over and over and over. <laughs> it was maddening. But then, then they would start oh, no. crying, but they didn't just cry. They would say no, but they didn't. They didn't say so. They go no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Man, I, I, as annoying as that was, imagine that from an actual child, like an octave higher than that, for that, for that. a whole. So they go from that no to then all done, oh to happiness, and it was like it was maddening, it was fucking. Dude, the father didn't do anything, anything, and I was like trying to sleep. I had like I had like sound canceling headphones on, and through that, so I couldn't even hear the airplane through that. It was like dead silence, but I heard. I heard like muffled. <laughs> I was going insane. I was going crazy. It was kid. the most irritable I've ever been, ever, ever on a flight. I, ever. Ser- I seriously believe that, like, people who allow their kids to do that, obviously. Why like, don't they have the best? Like, it, take the I, back I seats of an airplane think, and make it soundproof dude, and make it the kid I honestly, section. I honestly think 
they have like a parent who has nothing but just dealt with their kid going, oh, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eventually, like it just gets to the point where they're too fucking tired. Don't be a parent. Don't be a fucking parent. If you <laughs> no, can't discipline. I agree. But like they, they don't even fucking hear it anymore. You're right. It's background noise to them. Yeah. At but that dude, point, when, I, when I went to church when I was a kid, this, right? This so there was always a little soundproof silent area yeah, with yeah. glass. Why does a fucking airplane not have a back like the back like six seats can be for children? And you take them back there and it's soundproof. Why? Why? Or consequence, like if everyone had a, a like a keypad on their seat, and you can like type in someone's seat and be like, eject this person from the plane. Yeah, shoot yeah, them out. Absolutely, I they agree. Just get sucked out or from dude, dude, build like a giant fucking like thing that goes over the kid's head that makes them soundproof. Imagine, <laughs> ah, you just put it over the head. Ah. It just or, goes silent. You know, silence. Like, every you can't plane has like a policeman sitting at the back with a gun. He should walk up and aim the gun in the kid's face and say, Ah, shut up! No, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! He shoves the gun in his mouth. Oh, what are you doing? Play Russian roulette. If the cops, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. 